on the Whirlwind Royal Tour of Australasia. Newlyweds Harry and Meghan spent some time enjoying everything that Fiji has to offer, as well as market visits and cover ceremonies. The royal couple also met with First Lady Sorority Conrote, where Meghan was gifted a stunning pearl necklace. According to reports, as part of the official welcome, the First Lady of Fiji, Sarat Faga Conrote, presented Meghan with a lovely multicolored 18 inch pearl necklace. It was an appropriate gift as Fiji is known for its beautiful pearls. The necklace featured 37 high grade, naturally multicolored pearls sourced from renowned pearl farm J. Hunter Pearls. Colors range from shimmering greens to magnificent bronzers, brilliant blues to gunmetal grays. The pearls from the Savu Savo region are a product of the pink Tatamagna referral typical oyster, a subspecies of the black lipped Tahitian oyster. The pearls are one of the world's rarest, and their multicolored tones are highly sought after by pearl connoisseurs from all corners of the globe. Speaking to the Fiji Sun, Ms. Hunter explained that the necklace was the perfect embodiment of the Fijian government's role in the 2017 United Nations Climate Change Conference, aka 23 Colombian Pesos. Back at the residence, when the royal staffers told Meghan that she didn't get to keep the necklace, she probably broke so many plates she'd make Greeks at a wedding blush. The staffers probably had to remind her there were photos taken and not to steal them like at the photo shoot. However, Word has it that Meghan insisted on keeping the gift and then plotting to sell off the jewelry wedding gifts to stay afloat after a messy divorce. But then, the late queen banned her from accessing them, and Meghan has never gotten to wear this gorgeous necklace. If she'd kept it, you can be sure it would have been worn. The earrings and the bracelet from a former husband, which is forever on her wrist, are pretty much all the jewels she has. Imagine wearing the bracelet for all to see as a reminder that he was more generous than her current husband. Some gifts become the property of the crown, not the individual receiving them. As this was an official visit where Harry and Meghan represented the British royal family, gifts presented during the trip belonged to the royal family. Even gifts they received for the wedding can't really be sold unless they were specific personal gifts. Speaking of selling jewels, Meghan had an ad in Harper's Bazaar a few weeks advertising her engagement ring from Harry was for sale. I personally saw the ad. And on another note, Meghan won't be selling anything by herself to fund a family. She might be making Harry do whatever the bank of dad's handouts, but a good eater for herself. She's so selfish. He ended up selling the handmade personal item gifted to him by his grandfather Prince Philip. I have no issues with him deciding to no longer hunt, but the item should have been returned to his grandfather or kept in the family by gifting them to a nephew or cousin. Interesting how their lifestyle was always him giving up something or changing to suit her wishes. She taught him to allow her to enter or walk first. She even tried that during a diplomatic function. She even tried that during diplomatic functions.